Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. A few months ago, you might remember a uh, few videos that were leaked and posted online, so, uh, some type of project from Microsoft called Courier. And uh, it was never really anything other than a prototype. Uh, Microsoft ended up killing the project. Uh, people ended up leaving Microsoft after they killed the project, and the project died. But the idea behind the project lived on. And a Kickstarter project was uh, put up and funded, and they finally released the first version of a project that would bring what you thought Microsoft could have brought with Microsoft Courier to the iPad. So it's not Microsoft, it's a completely independent company, and the application is called Tap Pose. And with it, you can, well, create digital notebooks. Let me see here. It's, it's a little hard to, to use from this angle here. Uh, so you can scratch text, you can include uh, different uh, types of media, whether maps, contacts, videos, photos. Uh, you can organize and share those journals by way of email, export to PDF, uh, changing colors of backgrounds, uh, and start, you know, basically creating notebooks. And so this sketchbook could be yours for $3. Now, the first version that's available uh, isn't working so well. $3 is not a bad price to pay, but... I'd probably wait till they issue some bug patches uh, for or pa bug patches, bug fixes or patches uh, before you end up buying it for three dollars. Uh, there have been a lot of negative reviews, but I had to buy it. I had to see what it was. Uh, if I had any complaints, that it's not very responsive for an iPad app, uh, and I think they'll work on that certainly. But in case you wanted to try something like that and you didn't want to spend any money, uh, here's a project that was just released by the people, if I'm not mistaken, who had the idea for Courier. They've released something for free called Paper. And it works in much the same way. So essentially, you can create these idea books. Uh, and look at that. Look at look at how clean that is. Dang, man, that's clean. You're limited by your imagination with uh, these types of projects. Uh, in fact, uh, you could use styluses, and there are features in these particular apps that will allow you to uh, keep, uh, well, not allow you to keep your wrist off of the base of the pad or the, the screen of the iPad, uh, but it will compensate for it. And depending on, you know, right-handed, left-handed, how you want to use your stylus, if you are using a stylus, uh, it would work accordingly. So, oh, that was easy enough. I figured out how to do it simply by just pinching. Let's go ahead and add one. Journal. Can you see that okay, guys? I know that the color's a little weird. So, journal, there's my, ooh, nice. Ink. Chris. Oh, nice! That's kind of cool. Look at that. It's neat. Sketchbook. And then I can go in there, and I can paint over here. I can choose a brush. Uh, I can even buy brushes if I wanted to, uh, and, ooh, see, oh, I see, that's a nice little way, so if you want, you can go with the basic stuff like outline, write, color, uh, you can get the essentials package, that's kind of nice, uh, so they've got different upsells in here, but the basic functionality is just a s simple sketch pad, you see that, so it opens up, I can flip back and forth between the pages there, this is free, now, of course, there's upsells in there, it's called paper, and the icon's got a little 53 on there, so it's paper by 53, and then I also learned about bamboo paper, and uh, this is another one of those applications that's free that works in much the same way. You're familiar with uh, Bamboo's, uh, or the Bamboo uh, product uh, that you could use on a desktop with a stylus. Uh, they pretty much brought the same type of functionality into an iPad app. So there are three applications that can turn your iPad into a sketchbook. Uh, bamboo Paper, Paper, and Tapose. Uh, Penultimate, we covered eons ago, certainly. Uh, and there are many others out there. Uh, go with the one that you find offers the best experience for you. Uh, and if you have any other, uh, I guess, uh, suggestions for me to take a look at, uh, I would be more than happy to take a look at them. Uh, honestly, between those three, I'd probably be inclined to use paper more than the other ones. I mean, if only because the first version is clean, uh, the UI is intuitive, and it does exactly what it is that I need it to do as some type of sketch pad for writing down notes, uh, scratching down charts and wireframes and whatnot. Uh, so in, if, if, if you have, I get, like I said, uh, other suggestions to make, please uh, let us know. I, uh, I will do at some point, uh, as I, I did it last year, a, a review of all the apps that I have installed on my iPad. So uh, I know you, what's in that folder? What's, what do you have there? I'll get to it, but not today.